Netflix hit it big with the TV adaptation of the book You. With over 40 million views within the first month of launching, the show already has fans launching plenty of memes and fan theories. He's in love with her! Central to the majority of viewers' discussions is Joe Goldberg, the complex protagonist. Fans cannot decide whether he is a rootable hero or a villain in disguise, and it's leading to all sorts of opinions around the web. Behind the Screen took the best of those arguments and condensed it here to sort out what people should take away from this dastardly figure. After all, everyone enjoys diving into the mind of a compulsive stalker with his eye towards girly wants. Right? Guilty. Okay, so that is definitely not the case. But this video is worth taking a look at as we plan on diving into the backstory and characteristics that makes Joe so compelling. The central plot of the series follows Joe Goldberg as he attempts to get the girl. Beck is somewhat unaware of this preoccupation, and Joe acts on her behalf behind the scenes to try to steer her towards falling in love with him. By using his deep knowledge of the internet, Joe seeks out everything there is to know about Beck. Joe has no concept of boundaries, and fans are shown this idea through the internal monologue that runs through his head in the show. In fact, that internal dialogue, and the focus being squarely on Joe, leads to fans dialing in all their empathy on him. Viewers start out wanting to see what might happen if Beck falls for him. The two have a relationship, but what the audience actually sees as the main conflict is the other main characters like Peach and Benji pushing against Joe's ideal life with Beck. The awkward crush Joe has on Beck quickly turns into something else, with Joe tossing his morals out the window in order to get closer to Beck. If he even had them to begin with. The writers are asking the viewers to consider where romance breaks into obsession. A central question to the entire series is, what would you do for love? Joe's goals make his answers clear and concise. He will do anything. Joe desires to be closer to the woman he is falling in love with, and he sees himself as the nice guy helping a girl find her way. The protagonist wants to see his crush succeed, it's a familiar plot point you can find in a ton of rom-coms. Joe sees Beck as unfulfilled, and he feels compelled to fix that problem. In Joe's mind, dating him will help Beck become a better, more complete person, almost like Beck needs Joe as much as Joe needs Beck. Uh, at least, in his own twisted mind, that's what he thinks. Joe wants to be the one for Beck. He will do anything for love. Basically, Joe is like if Courage the Cowardly Dog was a psychopath. Seriously, Joe is desperate to get and hold on to Beck. Anything in his way is just an extra addition to his fall in love to-do list. Massive air quotes on love. See, the theory and debate raging on the internet is all about the justification of his goals. Is Joe acting in her best interest? This is the crux of the argument. Fans are now debating whether or not they are supposed to root for Joe in the end. This is where the lines blur, and hot takes begin to pour through the woodwork as it seems everyone has their own opinion on Joe's actions. One view to consider before diving into the depths of this internet war is Penn Badgley's perspective of the character he plays. After all, no one understands the tiny details of a character's psychosis better than the actor who plays them. Badgley hit the nail on the head in his media roundup when he remarked that the show's social media treatment of Joe would hinge on the success of the show. The show is a hit, and that notoriety is clearly influencing perspectives. Get this, the actor who plays Joe does not find him to be rootable as a character. Come on, that has to say something when Badgley admits to delivering his performance with an animosity towards his character's actions. Even Joe doesn't want to root for Joe. Still, fans persist, and the cast and creators clearly saw this coming. The story is meant to cause a divide, and the more eyes on the series, the more perspectives hit the send button on their next big hot take. It's all a part of the new Netflix culture. You is simply proud of it. Just like with Bandersnatch or Bird Box, Netflix relies on controversy. By stirring up just a little bit of drama, Netflix knows you'll spread the word, getting even more people to watch. I tweeted it. All this being said, Badgley may not see romantic truth and pure intention in some of Joe's actions, but this hasn't stopped some fans from taking the creepy bookworm's side. What results is the most divided fan base since Edward vs. Jacob. 
Some argue that Joe is irredeemable and devoid of actual humanity. Some see the acts as a budding relationship to start and recognize that Joe sees his choices as a sacrifice, just as an audience would see in any romance novel. Only everything is taken to an extreme end. For others, Joe's character is a balance between the two. All his actions and his traits plays toward a logical breakdown of Joe's backstory. Basically, Joe is romantic and caring, but his understanding of love is twisted by his past. Joe doesn't really understand and comprehend love as others do. Joe is a character with a rigid moral code and values. Online blogger Wabi Sabi outlines this moral code in his own take on the character. Heck, even Millie Bobby Brown of Stranger Things fame sees a morality in the character's actions. Actually, she changed her mind when she finished, but so did most of the supporters of this view. The truth is, the creators want you to be confused and switch back and forth. The writers want fans to ask, what exactly are Joe's values? We see Joe grow through his backstory. His foster father is a huge part of what shapes his belief system. As a boy, Joe is locked up every time he does something wrong. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of discipline system would definitely affect the way I see morality. Joe's background makes him inflexible, and when he attaches himself to Beck, he pushes those moral expectations onto her. It's like Joe is the father vicariously living his athletic dream through his talented son's life. Only this father is willing to eliminate the coach when he does not give his boy playtime. Joe wants Beck to be pure and fulfill her potential. The only way he knows how to get those values out of her is through violence. Any obstacle impeding his moral code needs to be handled. The only problem is, Joe doesn't know the right way to do that. The whole thing amounts to a nice guy complex. Joe sees himself as the only guy that is right for Beck. If she could just trust him and listen to him, he could help her be the best version of herself. This complex leads Joe to corrupt human ethics and break the mold of the nice guy stereotype. We know the type. The nice guy is the dude who thinks the girl is in his debt because he treats her well. However, the nice guy doesn't even realize the girl never asked him to do anything. The nice guy always makes things worse. Joe is this idea pushed to its extreme. However, fans see the logic in all of this. Joe is not acting out of a place unfamiliar to us. We know this character. We have seen this hopeless romantic in countless stories. Nice guy falls in love with a girl and does what he can to win her over. The problem is, Joe is a hopeless romantic gone off the deep end. While other characters see bad ex-boyfriends as an obstacle they need to foil, Joe sees Benji as a dangerous inhibitor damaging Beck's life. The result is an extreme reaction. Joe's decisions come from this familiar place, but his actions are out of the ordinary. Again, this all stems back to that messy childhood. Joe is locked away and secluded for most of his formative years. The most he understands about people is through observation. As a kid, Joe read books and saw how authors used the character's actions and expression to communicate emotion. Joe sees the world through this idea, so he watches people and dissects an emotional core through actions. He sucks at understanding that conversations bring out tons of emotional points too. He sees love as the twisted belief between sacrifice and care. Mr. Mooney, his foster dad, makes Joe believe that sometimes people do bad things out of love. This causes Joe to rationalize his extreme actions through this same justification. Joe's isolated past further bleeds into his personality and explains his troubling way of getting closer to Beck. Joe is a big-time introvert with a deep power for discernibility. He trusts in his first impressions of people and is quick to pick up on people's personalities through small actions. He developed all of this through living a life in forced isolation. Instead of socializing for enjoyment like anyone else, Joe socializes to gain knowledge and understand the motives of those around him. He shrinks from verbal conflict and desires to achieve goals through minimal confrontation. Joe wants to know people and seeks to find their truth. The trouble is, he cannot do this through normal human actions. He is broken by a bizarre childhood that pushes him to inhuman results. All of his actions can be seen as bad by the end of the narrative, but that does not mean fans are without hope. After all, there is more of Joe's life to come, 
and we are anxious to see how Joe grows as a character. His immoral decisions need consequences, and the question becomes, can Joe learn from this? Joe's supporters are not unaware of his misdeeds, and the corruption in his character is recognizable. The trouble is, we have seen the source of his personality, which means some believe he can change. Joe still has the potential to be better. This pseudo-logic to his actions mean there is a path for Joe to be better. He shows moments of trust and the occasional ability to let go of his hang-ups. The darker side of Joe's past wins out every time so far, and it is why so many viewers have already given up on the man with no remorse. Should viewers still be rooting for Joe? It's up to each person to decide. The chance for Joe to go along a different path is there, but the chance is about to pass him by soon. We know Joe cannot keep making poor decisions for the rest of his life. He either needs to grow into the character Joe supporters believe he can be, or he needs to face the results of going down the darker path. Right now, fans can still muddle the character into splotches of gray decisions justified by his past. He toes the line between misunderstood protagonist and a deeply broken man really well right now. However, that line cannot be crossed over and over. Soon, the fans are going to need to make a decision. With more episodes on the way, it's safe to say sides are picked, but there is always a chance to change. Joe is either a logical romantic trying to act in a noble way, but his past is forcing him into immoral decisions, or he is a cold, calculating brute with a nice guy complex. The line in the sand is drawn, and it's up to the writers to bring the argument home. You is a series with a ton of promise. Whether people like it or not, Joe is the protagonist. The thrilling part about the entire first season is the fact that the story muddles the line between love and compulsion. Fans are meant to be debating Joe's character flaws and virtues. This is investment, and investment means more views. There is more story to come, and fans will glean plot points to structure their arguments. No section of the internet will be safe from a bombardment of Joe Goldberg takes. Joe is sadly just getting started. He is going to find another girl to obsess over, and this merry-go-round will crank back up again. Maybe the results will be different. It's up to the viewer to watch and decide. Is Joe a rootable character? Can Joe be redeemed, or will he answer for his actions? What else could be in Joe's past, and can anyone stop him? There is so much more for this series to reveal. So, did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments down below what you think of Joe as a character. Plus, don't forget to hit subscribe and get all the latest content from behind the screen. All you have to do is hit the link down below to be automatically subscribed.